Hi, second graders. I'm Mrs. Richard. I'm your reading teacher this grading period. And I'm excited today to work with you on some vocabulary words. We are going to be working in our green reader this week on our first story. And before we do that, we need to get familiar with some of the vocabulary words that you will be seeing in that story. So we have them on our screen. Over here, we have what we call high frequency words. Those are words that you're going to see a lot in the story. They're pretty popular. And they also are listed in a special short story on page 25 in your green reader. So today I want to spend a little time going through these first. I'm going to say the word and then I'd like you to repeat it at home. So the first word is beautiful. Now you say it. Country. Now you say it. Friend. Your turn. Front. Someone. Somewhere. I bet you know the meanings of these words or most of these words but I wanna spend a little time just talking about them. The first word beautiful is a word that would describe something that's very pretty. So right now in your head, can you think of something that you feel is beautiful, that's very pretty? The next word is country. Country is like an area. It might be a specific country that you live in, but it also, can be an area, a space where people live. And in the country, they might have lots of land or some horses or a barn. That's kind of a country that's far away from a city. The next word is friend. I know we all know what a friend is. It's a buddy, it's a pal. Right now, think of one of your friends that you enjoy spending time with. Front, that means usually first, like you might want to sit at the front of a class or the front of a movie theater. The opposite or the antonym would be like in the back. Someone, that's a person. We just don't know who it is. It's somebody that we don't have a name for. I might say, hmm. Someone borrowed my pencil. I wonder who it was. I don't know who that is, but someone took it. And then somewhere, that's a place. And once again, we don't know. That pencil that someone took could be somewhere in the classroom. I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere in here. Let's say these words together one more time. This time you say them with me. Beautiful country, friend, front, someone, somewhere. And if you are having a little trouble, it's okay. You can look on page 25 in your green reader and these words are on there and they're all highlighted in yellow. And the more you practice them and the more you say them, the easier they'll be to remember when you see them on a page in any book. Our story, The Twin Club, also has specific vocabulary words that go along with that story. So let's say these. Please repeat after me. Cousins. Your turn. Promise. Parents. Meadow. Let's say those again. Cousins. Promise. Parents. Meadow. These four words will be in our story, The Twin Club. So they're pretty important words. We have definitions behind them that explain what those words mean. Cousins are sons or daughters of your aunts 
and uncles. Hmm. So if you have an aunt or uncle that come to your house to visit, they might bring their children and those are your cousins. Notice the word cousins has an S behind it. That means more than one. So you could have one cousin that came to visit or you might have a lot of cousins that came for a visit. The next word is promise. A promise is to give your word that you will do something. Hmm, can you think of a promise that you've made? Maybe you promised somebody you'd clean your room or you will promise to eat all your dinner before you have some dessert. So you're giving your word that you're going to do that. Parents, father and mother. Notice the S on the end. It means more than one. Meadow is a piece of grassy land. And that meadow, I bet you could find it in the country. Remember the country is an area that has lots of land, possibly a barn or horses and cows. There could be a meadow there, a big piece of grassy land where those horses and cows might graze. So let's say these words one more time. Cousins, promise, parents, meadow. These are important words that we're going to see in our story this week called the Twin Club. We're going to have you read a little of that story later this week, but before we read it, it's important we know our vocabulary words. So thank you for participating. If you wanted more practice, you could watch this again. See you soon.